Hey guys, welcome back to Javon Rule 16. I am your host Javon, and today we're back for a brand new benchmark. Today we're testing with Monster Hunters 2, whatever the heck it's called, stories, whatever, Wings of Ruin, Wings of Freedom, Wings of Something, 2 for the PC. I thought it was way too long and I forgot. <laughs> anyway, today we're running this on my Intel Core i3-7100U with the Intel HD 620 integrated graphics. We're running with 16GB of DDR4 RAM in dual channel memory mode. And I am running at 720p on the low preset with high texture, well textures at medium. Basically, nothing too fancy. Um, I tried to run this on the 4600, it didn't run. I will test again to make sure, but 720p as you can see. And we do have texture quality on medium, but everything else is on off or low. And we're going to see how we, where we get with the game. You know me, I'm always curious enough to want to know. What can the game do for me? Anyway, we're going to go over here real quick, out into the unknown. So we're hitting 30 FPS on average right now. It is quite demanding. We're using 8GB of RAM. Anything less than... 12 I imagine on integrated graphics may cause an issue I would imagine it would but hey we'll see when I test the Iris 540 if it runs so you may need to come back for that video guys just to make sure and it does seem to also be a bit CPU intensive like I always say the i3 I use here is very low end it's always almost always a CPU bottleneck especially on newer games with bigger wide areas we're gonna we're not gonna do very well as you can see my CPU is Tag it at 100%, which is never good. But yeah, it, it'll struggle a bit. If you have a better CPU with the Intel HD 620, you're probably going to get better frame rate. But yeah, this is definitely a bottleneck on the CPU side. The Intel HD 620 has a lot more to give. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. If you guys enjoy seeing me test these games on the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out on the channel, guys. Try to be the next low-spec gamer over here. We do a bunch of low-end content all the time, but I know, just let you guys know, hey, what can run, what can't run. It's a lot of stuff to know about it, man. Look, we are still hitting 30 FPS. I mean, it's not bad on the low setting, so that means the game is still quite playable. I wouldn't complain. I don't complain about this. This is really playable. This is very playable. Alright, I'm about to end this thing whole career. Get ready. I, I watched Jurassic World. Get ready, son. <laughs> like I said, it is what it is. It's it's the CPU it's the CPU is a bottleneck here. The Ares 540 probably will do a lot better because the CPU is a lot stronger. I remember playing this on the Nintendo. I remember playing this on the, the user emulator as well. So I do remember this. You just got smacked by whatever they. He's targeting me. Yeah. I'm a class because I. D what what beats power? I I feel like I skipped I, f I skipped everything. I skipped everything here. Okay, speed. I skipped everything, so I don't know. Hey, we can maintain over 30 FPS at 720p low. I can live with this. We won! We did it! I did it! For the rock! <laughs> Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't, don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I would recommend having more than 8GB of RAM for this game because if it's dual channel, dual channel is definitely great, but you're probably going to need more than that just to, just for the extra for the integrated graphics. Otherwise, it may stutter. The, for one thing, I've noticed the game has not stuttered for me yet. So it may stutter if you don't have more than 8 gigs. I'm just running around showing people what, what the game what the game is handling, okay? 
But yeah, it's not stuttering for me. And this is running at the 30 FPS. It's not dropping below 30. So it may stutter if you have less than 8, but I could be wrong. Like I said, I will test with the RS540 and see. But be on the cautionary side. You may need to cap the FPS to 30 and go to, you know, texture quality to low. That may actually help out for 8GB, to be fair. Oh, look at these guys. I'm about to end these guys' whole career. Come here, come here, come here. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay.